All right, folks, we are here at Florida Audio Expo 2024 at SVS, dropping some new speakers. That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Delosalo with Audio Hawks. We are here with Gary Yakubian, the head honcho of SVS. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great, man. This has been awesome. Awesome. This Hello see from you. Tampa, Audio Hawks community. Excellent. Yeah. So, guys, I've been dying to hear these speakers. I finally got to sit down and hear. This is the flagship model of the Evolution Evo series. Let me tell you something. The bass I was hearing in this room, I had to walk up to the subwoofer because I was not convinced. I swore that they had the subwoofers on. Not a single subwoofer driver was moving. But not overpowering, right? Not overpowering. The thing about this room, there's no room treatments in here. The bass was tight. It was deep. It was extended. I forgot because I looked at the speaker when it first came out. I forgot that there's drivers back here. Gary, let's talk about the design of this speaker and how... There's so many advantages to having more drivers behind the speaker for bass and in front of it and what it's doing in this room and how it's creating even bass distribution. First of all, let's talk about the models, the yeah. theories, and just give us a rundown of the product. This is the SVS Ultra Evolution series. This is the culmination of pretty much everything we've learned. Uh, you, you know us for a long time, Gene. When we started as a team, we were only subwoofers. We were only known for our subwoofers. Now our journey with speakers is 12 years long, and these are the culmination of all the different things we've learned about speakers. There's three towers. This is the Ultra Evolution Pinnacle. They're $5,000 a pair. The next one down is the Ultra Evolution Titan. They're $4,000 a pair. And then the next one down from that, all the same con cabinet configuration, just smaller uh, base drivers, is the Ultra Evolution Tower. We also have two bookshelves, the Ultra Evolution Bookshelf and the Ultra Evolution Nano, which is a smaller bookshelf. And then just to build a home theater with uh, the exact voicing, probably the most requested speaker we have in the whole lineup is the Ultra Elevation. The Prime Elevation was actually the highest selling speaker SVS ever made because it was getting matched up with pretty much every other speaker brand. And we were, how many times were we requested? I'm looking at Nick, our VP of marketing. He's not in the video. How many times were we requested? When are you gonna make an Ultra Elevation? When are you gonna make an Ultra Elevation? So now we do have that height effect speaker and then ultra center so that we can complete any home theater configuration. Well, I mean, just hearing some of the demos like that last Justin Timberlake song, I didn't even know that was Justin Timberlake. I think it's relatively a new song. I haven't heard it. Yep. But hearing that bass drop was just epic in here. It was just so controlled. But it's not just about the bass. I heard a lot of good vocal clarity. I love the fact that you're using, I call this an MTM design because you got two mid ranges sharing the same bandwidth and you've got a new tweeter design. But the coolest thing about it is the curvature of the cabinet. It's not just for cosmetic. There's right. a reason why you did this curvature, right? Right. Well, we call this acoustically centered time alignment. And uh, let me talk first about the time alignment. Um, the output point where sound emanates from a tweeter is from the outermost point of the dome. The output point of a cone driver, this is a, a, a woofer and this is a, a mid-range, is from the furthest end part of the diaphragm. So in order to create sound that reaches the listener's ears at the exact same instant, we curve the cabinet out to the listener, both at the top and the bottom of the speaker. And if you could draw a perfect vertical line, you would see that the output point of each driver is, makes a perfect vertical line and creates a, a sound that arrives from each driver at the same instant. Also, because the tweeter is centered between the two mid-ranges, we do have essentially uh, a, a point source-esque configuration. We call that acoustically centered. The result is a very, co and hopefully you heard that, a very coherent, a very centered and tight and convincing stereo image. And so that's the beauty of the, of the configuration. We also have our first ever diamond coated tweeter. This tweeter would not have been possible even 10 years ago. We use a process called vapor deposition over the aluminum dome to um, put the uh, uh, industrialized diamond dust, essentially, dust is not a technical word, <laughs> onto the driver. And what happens is the breakup frequency of the tweeter goes so far beyond audibility that it basically never distorts. What I hopefully you heard with some of the tracks that we played is 
effortless, convincing high frequencies. Well, what I heard when I listened to the Miles Davis recording, this is a 60-year-old recording. Some of these recordings are just magic, right? I agree. And I felt they like- don't make recordings like that. They really don't, like because they, they had to be careful not to overclip, you right. know, you totally. damage the stylus of the yep. needle and all that. But it just sounded like I was in a jazz venue. It sounded very natural to me. And then everything we listened to, there was nothing like glaring at you. A lot of speakers can be bright in, in these kind of settings. It just sounded very natural. The fact that there's no room treatments in here, everything was balanced. I mean, were you doing any EQ at all or were you just plugging or Just an amp, preamp, and streaming high-res files. And the fun part is, yeah. usually when you demo speakers, you pick stuff that they're stronger in and you want to use that and you know, you get, if somebody says, I request this, we're like, oh, I wonder how that will sound. And actually, we're just we're taking requests because they're acquitting themselves really well with stuff we've never even heard. So that's been a lot of fun. Well, you put on a great demo. I really appreciate getting to see these speakers up close. We're going to be doing a review, I think, of the middle model. What's the model? The second? We call that the Ultra Evolution Titan. So that's the one we're going to be looking at. We're going to get James Larson to get us set. He's going to be doing his measurements. We'll do a live stream about it. We'll do more coverage of these products. I think this is a really special line that you guys have come up with, Gary. And I, I honestly, I think it's the best speaker line you've come up with today. I'm biased, but they are our masterpieces. We're really excited about them. And I really appreciate the positive feedback for Eugene. You guys, you guys know your stuff. Well, we try. And the thing I really like about it is when you look at the speaker, it's just stunning in person. It's, you know, a lot of speakers can be an eyesore in a room when they're this big. But this is like a centerpiece of a room. I, I don't know, because maybe I'm biased because I'm into audio. You like speakers. I like speakers. My wife approves of the design. She thinks it looks great. So that if a woman approves, then you know you're doing well. So guys, if you like this video, please hit the thumb up, hit the subscribe. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash We appreciate your support. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.